Matteo Manassero is one of the brightest young stars in world golf and has four wins already at the age of 21. His caddy is the experienced Belfast-based David McNeely, who over the last 30 years has worked with Nick Faldo, Nick Price and Podrick Harrington, among others. We caught up with them recently to find out more about their partnership. I was actually freelancing and this chap came up to me and said, he knew that I, was, I wasn't really committing myself to anyone, and he said, would you like to work for Matteo Manassero? Now, I didn't even know, first of all, who the guy was who came up to him. As it was, it was Gorka, his manager. And uh, I had never even spoken to Matteo prior to that. So I said, yeah, I mean, obviously, obviously he's such an immense talent. that I said, yeah, I'd love to work for him. I remember Alberto was out there uh, on the golf course checking the pins and, and, and those things. And, and they, they started speaking together and, you know, he, my coach, so Dave, you know, very dedicated to his job, loving his job, and, and, and you know, a kind of a very friendly person, even if there is quite a bit of a age difference, but he's, he's a very, very friendly guy, uh, speaks a lot, and, you know, those kind of things that I, that I like on the golf course. So he said, um, well, I think he's the right guy. The establishment of a strong bond is essential for any caddy player relationship to flourish. Finding the same wavelength and understanding what each other needs from the other is vital. A partnership develops uh, just by by telling the truth, by telling what you need, and you know, don't just don't stay silent. That's the most important thing. Uh, you know, you start working together, and, and at the beginning, it's it's all fun because it's a new thing and stuff. But after a while, you know, you've got your needs. Caddy's got his needs, and you know, player and caddy is one one thing in a golf course. So they they need to they need to be as um, as good a partnership uh, as good a partnership as the, as there could be. Like like if it's one person. Initially, there's there is a kind of a, a learning period for both of us, really. I mean, I have my kind of like good sides, and I have you know, I'm not maybe the most organized person in the world, you know, which kind of. For some players, that doesn't sort of like gel too well with them. Matteo is very organised, you know, but um, but he knows that I, uh, that uh, I'm very. I've got a lot of energy for the golf course, for what's actually on the golf course, um, and uh, he knows that I've I know his game very well now, so he can trust me. And I think that's probably the biggest thing for a, for a caddy player relationship is to develop a trust. He's got a big influence in me, so I, I really listen to him. That's why. You know, we work well together because uh, I can listen to him. I know he's, he's got something experienced and interesting to say, so I analyze it and, you know, I, I might change my mind. When a player and his caddy disagree over a shot, there's always a potential flashpoint. Fortunately for McNeely, Matteo is pretty calm. I hadn't been working for him very long, we were in Malaysia. And the fifth hole uh, was a, a quite a reasonably long par five. And he had like 230 yards front of a downhill lie. And he's got a three wood out. Now, Matteo's a very confident player, you know, but I, I, I didn't say anything, but I didn't like this at all. I didn't like the idea of going for this, not with three wood off a downhill lie. So anyway, um, he, he's getting ready to go. I'm not saying anything, but he backs off the shot because a little gust of wind comes up. But anyway, I move in. That gives me my opportunity. I said, oh, no, right, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, I've been on tour for, what, 30, 35 years now, and whenever I see this, I say no, no. I say no, you know, because unless you're 100% committed, you just don't. 95%, 96%, I'm just going on and on. I'm just like this here. I'm on a podium. I'm just going away. So eventually he just says, OK, got that. You've talked me out of the shot, OK? So what's the, what's the layup? I'm just going on and on and on. He says, OK, I've got all that too. What's the yardage to the water? I said, well, OK, it's 188. He says, what, a 7 and I said, well, 7 and OK. 7 and goes straight into the water. He end up making 7. And he's walking the next hole. He says, no stress. I don't feel any stress after that 7. <laughs> So far, it's been a great relationship with plenty more highs than lows. Interestingly, they both make a different choice when asked about their best bit of teamwork to date. McNeely first. Well, I think once you get a win, and Singapore was um, it was a very hard, hard week, physically hard because of all the um, rain delays. It was hot. And, you know, so mentally, both of us had to be very strong in that week. 
um, and also too, he was he, he's, he was coming through a period where you know he was you know he needed something you know, and he was you could just see him the confidence levels were starting to fragment, and so when it, he won in Singapore, it just was such a lift for both of us. Playoff at Wentworth was was the best. You know we 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 really we really played it and thought it in a perfect way. We were. Uh, we never had um, a discussion during the playoff. We were really, we were sticking to our plan. And then, when when I decided to hit driver, he, he backed me up. He, he he never felt like that was a bad play. So, you, you know, it, it was just down. thinking the way the way I was thinking. So that was that was perfect. I didn't have anything bad from him. I just had him backing me up, and uh, and, and I think that ended up being for sure our best moment. On the chemistry that's seen them win three high-profile European Tour titles in successive years together, enjoyment and honesty are key. Because we speak a lot. Uh, we speak about our needs on the golf course a lot. Uh, and that's, that's the first thing, and I think that's the main thing. Uh, the second one is uh, we're, we're very clear to each other. You know, we don't, we don't tell lies. We, we, we tell exactly what we what we what we want and what we need and, and and I tell him exactly what I need even if it's something that could hurt him but uh, you know or, or, or he does something that could hurt me you know but uh, I tell him I tell him because in the end you know we want the same thing and we want to we want to perform well together and uh, you know it's something that we do in favor to each other I want to work for somebody who I can have fun with and somebody who can win a major and the reason why I want to work for Matteo Manassero is because I think I can, I know he can win a major, but let's find out if we're going to have fun. Well, over those, these two and a half years, we definitely have fun, you know.